In the realm of ice and snow, a shocking spectacle awaits. Back in 1911, during a British expedition to Antarctica, scientists stumbled upon a perplexing sight, an icy glacier oozing with a crimson discharge, staining the pristine landscape with a haunting red hue. This enigmatic phenomenon, aptly named Blood Falls, has intrigued experts for over a century. However, it wasn't until November 2006 and November 2018 that a team of US scientists embarked on a mission to uncover the true cause behind this airy coloring, armed with powerful electron microscopes that would catch the culprit red-handed. While previous studies had explored the chemistry and microbial life in the outflow from blood falls, a comprehensive analysis of its mineralogical composition had yet to be undertaken. Utilizing advanced analytical equipment, the researchers made startling discoveries that shed light on the iconic crimson spectacle. Material scientist Ken Levy from Johns Hopkins University recalls, As soon as I looked at the microscope images, I noticed that there were these little nanospheres, and they were iron-rich. These tiny particles, derived from ancient microbes, are a hundredth of the size of human red blood cells and abound in the meltwaters of Taylor Glacier. The glacier itself was named after the British scientist Thomas Griffith Taylor, who first observed the enigmatic blood falls during the 1910-1913 expedition. In addition to iron, the nanospheres contain silicon, calcium, aluminum, and sodium. This unique composition plays a pivotal role in turning the subglacial briny water red as it cascades from the glacier's terminus into a realm of oxygen, sunlight, and warmth after a prolonged seclusion beneath the ice. Livy explains, in order to be a mineral, atoms must be arranged in a very specific, crystalline structure. These nanospheres aren't crystalline, so the methods previously used to examine the solids did not detect them. Beyond its captivating allure, Taylor Glacier in Antarctica hosts an ancient microbial community that has thrived hundreds of meters beneath its icy surface, isolated for countless millennia, possibly even billions of years. This pristine environment presents a captivating opportunity for astrobiologists seeking to unravel the mysteries of life on other planets. However, the recent findings unveil a significant challenge. The spectroscopic equipment employed to identify the nanospheres in this study could not be transported to Antarctica. Instead, samples had to be sent to laboratories overseas for analysis. This limitation raises concerns about the detection of life forms beneath the icy crust of planets like Mars, where current technology may fail to recognize the telltale signatures of life, even as rovers traverse their surface. Livy underscores this limitation, stating, Our work has revealed that the analysis conducted by rover vehicles is incomplete in determining the true nature of environmental materials on planet surfaces. This is especially true for colder planets like Mars, where the materials formed may be nanoses and non-crystalline. Consequently, our methods for identifying these materials are inadequate. Regrettably, attaching an electron microscope to a Mars rover remains impractical due to the cumbersome size and substantial power requirements of these devices. To truly study nanoscopic evidence of life, samples will need to be retrieved from Mars and brought back to Earth. The unraveling of blood falls mystery serves as a reminder that there may be hidden realms of life lurking beneath the icy facade of distant worlds, waiting to be explored by future missions equipped with the right tools and technologies. Until then, the secrets of these alien environments will continue to intrigue and captivate our imaginations.